பெரிவா சரணம் அம்பாளும் துர்வாசரும் அம்பாள் அண்ட் சேஜ் துர்வாசா அவுட் ஆஃப் வேரியஸ் டிவோஷனல் காம்பசிஷன்ஸ் அட்ரெஸ் டு அம்பாள் தி ஓல்டஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஆரிய துவிஷதி ரிட்டன் பை துர்வாச ரிஷி செட் இன் அ ரேர் பொயிட்டிக்கல் மீட்டர் நோன் ஆஸ் ஆரிய இட் இஸ் அட்ரெஸ் டு தி டேட்டி ஹூஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி நேம்ஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆரிய This is not to say that she is the goddess only for the race of Aryans and that does not include the Dravidians. These race divisions are only man's creations and not God's. Actually, there is no such race. In Sanskrit, people higher up in the social order were addressed as Arya, like Sir or Your Highness. This was a mischievous canard created by Britishers when they were ruling over India as though there was an Aryan race somewhere in some part of the world who migrated to India and chased the local Dravidians south and east. It is all pure fiction from the fertile imagination of the so-called rulers of India. I was talking about the word Arya. In Tamil, this word becomes Ayyan for the male and Ayyai for the female gender. Such a dress was for any high class of people in any caste. This race business was a creation of Britishers as a suitable tool with which to nurture and enlarge internecine differences between people of India, which was further exploited politically by people who had their own access to grind in independent India. Arya is the name of Ambal. Our Acharya's mother's name was Aryambal. Rishi Durvasa composed his work of 200 poems known as Arya Dvishati in which the Arya meter addressing Arya as the Ambal's name. This work has another name as Lalita Stava Ratnam in which the word Stava also means Stuti, a devotional rendering. There is a custom by which the goddess is referred to as Pattarika. that will become pattarikai in tamil meaning someone who is worthy of our respect to be worshiped possibly pattarakar refers to a male titular head and pattari is for the feminine counterpart which with some more respect added becomes pattarika in olden times the endowment made to village temples are recorded on stone or metal plates known as sashanam in it is recorded as pattarika manyam it is this word pattarika that has morphed in local slang as pidari possibly ambal is pattarika and so three of her most important devotees have been given a special title as pattarakar one is ishwara himself known as paramashiva pattarakar second one is mahakavi kalidasa he is the one to get bak siddhi that is expertise in word usage and erudition by his devotion to kali in ujjain if you think of stotras for ambal the first few that will come to one's mind are shyamala dandakam and navaratna mala which were his compositions he was famously known as shringar pattarakar there are two things known as ganam and laghu in which ganam stands for heavy and laghu for light if ganapattarakar is ishwara from the divine beings and the laghupattarakar was kalidasa from human beings the third one had to be from the lot of rishis from whichever class if they were so refined and sensitized by years of tapasya and were capable of cognizing the mantras present in akasha in subtle form and make them available for the use of the common man were known as seers also known as class apart as rishis so from the three pattarakars ishwara is from the devas kalidasa is from human beings and the third had to be from amongst the rishis then only it will be correct isn't it who is that rishi he is none else but durvasa who had obtained the complete approval and prasada of beneficence of ambal 
He was also famous for his extreme anger, as you may know already. So, he was known as Krodha Pattarakar. So, we have Ishwara as a Paramashiva Pattarakar, Kalidasa as Shingara Pattarakar, and Durvasa as the Krodha Pattarakar, completing the Trinity. Krodha Pattarakar, Durvasa Rishi, is the first earthling to have composed and sung in praise of Ambal. Along with Ari Dvishati, he has also composed a poem known as Shakti Mahimna Stotram, a really high-class poem. Those who read his works with true devotion and would virtually experience Ambar's true personification in their presence. Periva Sharanam <laughs>